What's up my friends? Today I wanted to make a small video where I do a breakdown of my song cycle that is on my newest EP. It's actually one of the most minimalistic songs that I've ever did but it's so simplistic I think that's what makes it great. So I, I just wanted to uh, show you all the parts of it and walk you through some of the sound design and some of the effects and maybe you will learn something for your own production and uh, can implement some of the stuff that I do into your own music. I will also break down this tutorial into three parts. First will be drums, second will be synths, and third will be vocals and effects. Yeah, let's get into it. As you can see by the Ableton file, um, Cycle is my simplest song that I've ever made. So there's not much here. There's just like three to four or five synth lines, some vocal edits and straight drums. So it's very, very simple. And I think that's what makes the song good. I mean, sometimes you don't need much to make something feel right. And uh, yeah, I will start with the first part, which is drums. So here you see the simple pattern that I have, which is this one. That's basically it. So you have a hi-hat on every second note and you have those perks that uh, shuffle. And uh, yeah, I mean the samples I've just found somewhere in my sample library. You have a kick, you have a hi-hat, some, uh, some very simple EQing there. You have a clap and you have the perk. So everything's uh, pretty much straight out of the box. Not that much if effects on, on those uh, drum samples. And yeah, I just did that very simple drum line with it. And right at the beginning of the song, I have a convolution reverb on it. And that's how it fades into the song. So it sounds like this in the beginning. Yeah, so that's pretty basic and that's actually all you need to know about the drums. I just have a very simple sidechain on everything, just 4x4. I do all my sidechaining with Volume Shaper. I can do a tutorial on it uh, if you guys uh, would like to, but it's not that hard to use. Um, this is just my go-to sidechain program. You can use a lot of different tools. There, there's no best one. Um, this is just the one that I got used to at a early age and uh, yeah, that's what I'm using. So yeah, that's, I think that's already it about the drums. You have some fillers. Yeah, those just uh, sound nice. That's about it. So yeah, let's get into the second part, which are the chords and the synths. So right here you have the main synths, which are done in Serum and I can show you how they're very, very simple. That's what they sound like and what they are is just a normal uh, sawtooth wave and this thing which I just randomly selected out of my library. I have no idea where to find this but that's just a wavetable that I used. I don't know much about sound design so I just randomly click through all the wavetables and mess around with the wavetable position and put LFOs onto the, onto the wavetable position and just try to get something that uh, sounds the way I want it to. Um, but yeah, I'm not the best person to ask about uh, how I exactly do my sound design. So this is the basic saw chords with an LFO on the filter uh, which closes it like And as you can see, what I did is I made an automation onto the length of that envelope because on every end of the bar it holds it a bit longer. So, And there I just increased the time on the envelope, which makes it go longer. As you can see, uh, that's the envelope right here. Yeah. And yeah, about the chords, I just messed around until I got something that I liked. basic 
and those are the extended chords which start like this Everything is uh, also layered with a bass, which is also done in Serum, which has the exactly the same envelope on it uh, as the chords, as the main chords. And here it is the same thing. I just randomly selected some wavetables that I thought sound the best for layering with the main chords. And I just cut a lot of the high ends out of it, as you can see on my filter. So it's positioned a bit lower than on the main synths. Yeah, that's about it. Together they sound like this. And layered with the drums that I showed you before, it sounds pretty basic, but it sounds like this. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot there, but it's already sounding pretty nice, so that's cool. I've layered all the parts with a pad that I got somewhere in a sample pack from Virtual Riot, I think, which is this one. And I just quietly put this behind all the all the sounds and just put some sidechain on it, and it just fills the room more. You get a more complete feeling with this sound on. And it makes it more emotional. Um, something that I have to show you as well is the synth. I have a sound that quickly teases in the first part, but actually really gets its moment in the second part, which is this one. which is actually just two different samples from a Tennyson sample pack that I layered. Uh, one of the sounds is this one. And the second part of the sound is this one, which gives it the edge and the high end. And together they sound like this. And I just played this really simple melody with it with this part right here which brings it back up um, yeah that's about it for this synth I don't have any fancy um, effects on here as well it's just pretty straightforward some EQ a OTT compression and some reverb I always use this reverb I think I've mentioned this in a tutorial before but if you haven't uh, seen it before RC20 is my favorite reverb to use because it's really metallic but it just gives it a very unique sound and it also has some very very nice other effects on it that you could use uh, like wobble is something amazing that you have to check out You can do some crazy stuff with it, and uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, go do that. Yeah, I've missed one part of the of the main chord, which is this one, which is just like a third layer that uh, introduces itself in the second part and in the first bridge. It just gives it one more uh, tonality, and I also made this like dead mouse-ish second part in the in the break and in the bridge, which just puts the top half a bit later than the first part. As you can see here, I just copied the pattern and just put it on top and delayed it a bit, uh, which gives it this dead mouse-ish style that he also did on some of his tracks. Once again, introducing the pad in the in the bottom. Which brings us to our final part, which are the vocals. The vocals, uh, I chopped up a sample loop that I got somewhere on Splice. Uh, the original one sounds like this. I will show it to you. 
Let's get this one better. A better view of this one. I actually didn't need the second part because it's just pitched down. So if you take this first part and you take this part, you pitch the whole thing down six notes and you have the pattern and you already hear it probably you use this part right here and you have this, the last part which is which is yeah that's it so you, and you have the, the last part which sounds like this and you have the loop. Yeah, it's pro uh, almost the same. I've chopped everything up a bit nicer up here, obviously, for the original one. I think I pit, and I also sp sped it up a bit. It's a bit faster in the original one. Yeah, that's uh, that's about it, and I don't have any crazy effects on it. It's just EQ8, an ATT compression, and some filtering for some of the parts in the song where it needs to be filtered. Uh, for example, in the beginning. This is where it introduces itself. Yeah, and some parts that I... I mean, that's already it. If you just put in all those elements into your song that I just showed you how I did them, it already sounds like this. And that's basically the whole song. I have did some um, weird portal stuff in the beginning of the song, which I also want to show you really quick. I don't have the preset on portal anymore because I freezed it uh, and I didn't save it, but I just wanted to show you uh, how it sounded. So I stemmed out this part of the song without the drums. And I just rendered it out and put it through Portal. And Portal just makes crazy stuff to it. Yeah, I just looped this part in the beginning, like this one. And actually, if I let it play even more, you can hear what else Portal gave me, but I didn't use. Yeah, I mean, you can do some crazy stuff with Portal. I don't know the, the preset, sadly, so I can't exactly show you how I did it, but it's just a one of those crazy presets that are already pre-installed and um, yeah, just with a huge feedback on it, so it goes on forever. That's just some stuff that I get by playing around in the studio. I don't go at this song with a specific thing in mind, but I think in the original one, in the end product, it sounded great with this effect. Yeah, that's how I lead into the part where the... Where I have the filtered and reverbed um, drums and the very watery chords that are faded in as well with the cutoff and yeah i mean that's it basically i just wanted to, to show you guys how i did this one sometimes you don't need that many things to be 
run in a song to make it great. So if you just have few elements, but the elements fit together perfectly and the melodies are good and the chord progressions are nice, I mean, that's already it. You don't need much more than that. This is probably my most basic Ableton file that I have on my hard drive. I have some songs, for example, Drowning, that are way more complicated, but, but I mean, I could also do a breakdown of those ones as well. Let me know in the comments if you have a specific song in mind that I should break down for you and uh, yeah let me know in the comments if you have any other songs that you want me to break down for you click the notification bell subscribe to me if you haven't already so you never miss any of the new tutorials that i do guys stay healthy stay safe have a great one